I totally understand that you're on this journey and you're trying to test out the waters. How can you get your foot in the door to get a job in cybersecurity? There's so many different avenues. You got your blue team, you got your red team, and you're trying to figure out what fits. But besides that, your problem is it doesn't even matter which side you want to go in. You're just having a difficult time trying to land that first job. Or if that, even an interview just to even get noticed with your resume. So there are a couple things you can do to make that transition into cybersecurity a little bit easier. And I'm going to go through a few things, in my opinion, how that will work out for you. Now, I want to give you some history about myself. I do have a bunch of certifications. I was part of a huge blue team working for the city, right? I, have, I had a city job, hundreds of thousands of nodes, endpoints, thousands of locations across the entire city. And of course, I wasn't the only one. I was part of a team. But now I have transitioned from a blue team over to a red team. You know, I have my security plus, I have my CISSP, but even with the, the acknowledgement of most CISSP individuals and the certification itself being one of the top tiers, which I don't actually feel that way about it, but it was just something I wanted to accomplish. Even now at, at this very moment with having those certifications, Look at the stuff that I'm taking now. Pen test, pen test plus. And of course you could see that Cartoon Network Hotel uh, sticky was because that's where I went for vacation with my kids. You have to enjoy life. Remember, work-life balance is not all about cybersecurity. Although cybersecurity can be very interesting and a lot of fun. So what is my point and what am I getting at today? I want to show you guys this. There are still a lot of openings in the world, all right? I'm going to say in the world, but mostly in the United States because this map is mainly focused on the United States, total job openings. But look at the openings requesting certifications. Which one are they asking for the most? Which one are they preferring? And you can see right here, Security Plus and CISSP, even though CISSP is on top, Security Plus is not far behind. What does that tell you? It tells you that you got the novice all the way up to the elite and they're placed on first and second. Everything else is like uh, afterthought, right? CISA and the, the GIACs and you have the CISM and you have the CIPP, the Certified Information Privacy Professional. Now, in my opinion, the Privacy Professional it's not so much of a technical aspect where the CISSP and the Security Plus, you actually have to know like subnetting and firewalls and, you know, other technical jargons. Now, the CISA and the GIAC and the CISM, eh, more managerial, but even though CISSP fall into the managerial side of things, there's other certifications that may actually highlight your technical skills. OSCP definitely does. Uh, CEH definitely does, although that's pretty questionable at times. But it, it definitely helps to understand that CISSP here and Security Plus is probably those two certifications that will get you noticed on your resume and getting you the interview to actually initiate a job offering, right? And the other part is it's not all about the certification, unfortunately, because there are times when people who are hiring are looking at your personality, which really sucks, doesn't it, right? For you technical folks, for you guys who are like hiding in your shells, you have to be enthusiastic. You have to kind of sell yourself. You have to like prove that your, your motivation for landing this job is like your, your career, you're looking forward to growth and you're trying to do something with that. Not just, okay, I lost the job or I hate my last job and maybe this one will be better. I can definitely, you know, flourish or, or it, you know, show that appreciation once I get the job. That's not how it works. Unfortunately, you, you have to show all that within the 10, 15 minutes of your first impression to the hiring manager that's on the other side of that call. Now, for the most, I, most times, I, I would say it's a call because 
I would say 99% of the interviews that I've had have been on a Zoom, Teams, whatever call uh, virtually. I have probably did one and I left off the, the 1%. I probably have only did one if I could remember clearly that I actually went there physically to do an interview, which was it's a little refreshing. And interestingly enough, that was with the uh, police department, which was really a, a good you know feel for the police headquarters and this wasn't a precinct this was a headquarters like fully fortified uh, a lot of police officers and a lot of civilians working in there and i did get the job offer but but the offering was a little lower than i expected and of course i chose another place so anyway uh my my video here today is more to kind of just encourage you to study now, whether it's a half an hour a day, an hour a day, I know it could be daunting, it could be really, you know, like, oh, I have to read on my time off. And that's the only way you, you would grow, right? Uh, opposed to just playing games for the entire weekend, I would say contribute a half an hour, maybe 45 minutes at max, or, or do an hour, but take half hour breaks, right? Like every half hour, then take a little break and then continue on. That's how I normally do it. Uh, while I'm in the shower, and maybe it's uh, too much information, but while I'm in the shower, I'm actually listening to guys talk about Nmap or, uh, you know, like uh, Wi-Fi hacking or any other, you know, cyber security related, you know, topic that I'm just interested in at that very moment. Because I know, you know, like while the time I'm in the bathroom is not lengthy, like it's not an hour or two hours long, you know, it gives me that 15, 20 minutes of you know, oh, okay, you know, it's good information and kind of retain it because it's like the first thing I hear in the morning or even the last thing I hear at night because I, I do it both, you know, morning, I shower twice a day. All right, just whatever. But uh, there are other times that I would just randomly stop what I'm doing, whether I'm like at entertainment and I'll, I'll just do some research on like, oh, this this looks interesting and let me find out more about it. Or I pick up one of my ebooks or listen to one of my audiobooks on whatever you know cybersecurity certification I was trying to achieve next. In my case, I, I'm doing the CEH, right? I'm also watching videos on Pentest Plus. And then while I'm doing that, I'm listening to CISM on Audible because I just feel like I want to cycle it around and not get bored too bored or, or too monotone with one thing specific it's like playing video games right you you have a whole bunch of games on for your console and it's not like you're gonna play that one game every single day and hours and hours and you know you, you get kind of tired and you say, oh let me play this again and and then you kind of switch it up around a little bit here and there right until until you beat it or pass it whatever you want to call it and then you, you continue on, just do that same motion, right? So what happens after you get all the certification? The, the point of the certification is really more for yourself and trying to get you recognized with HR and putting you to that next step. There are other enhancements that you have to do for yourself in order to get these jobs or, you know, just landing the interview is, is hard enough, right? Because they can't see what kind of personality you are just by looking at your resume. You have to kind of sell that when you do get picked for an uh, interview, right? So so you, what do you do, right? You, you make your resume, right? With all these fancy certifications, you put it in there, but you don't blow it up like, you know, 36, you know, font or something. You just, you know, very discreetly, well, I won't say discreetly, but, you know, you put your list, your certification, just with your education and all your training. If you have no experience, it'll be great because that, that will show that you have dedication on achieving things that you're trying to get a job in right and once you do get that initial interview uh, you know besides that i mean look at videos and watch videos of how to interact with people speaking uh communicating being enthusiastic being attentive like you know paying attention right because the last thing you want is a interviewer asking you a question and you're zoning out because you're like trying to focus or you're really nervous you have to kind of you know cut that out so yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. Um, that's where, you know, everyone starts off from bottom.
and I'm not going to lie, I, I've done it myself. I've sat through, I would say, probably hundreds, if not around hundreds of, of interviews throughout my course of time because I've always been intrigued on how to, you know, learn more. Like, even if I don't land and get the job, it's just like I, I learned how to speak. I, I learned how to engage. I learned how to even get to that level of, okay, I, I can do it. I can do it. Um, and it's been a pretty interesting ride so far. Uh, what I, even though I love the job that I'm at now, and it's been only, I say I love it, but I've only been here for a month now, a month. Uh, will that stop me from putting myself out there? Probably not because, you know, don't ever lose that, that gift. If you have that gift of being able to put yourself out there, especially if you're learning more every single day, your, the, your value, your worth is, is just incrementally going up every single time. So that's where we are right now. And that's where I am. The, the, you know, the chart you can see for yourself. I will link this in the bottom. I've, I've spoken about this page before. You know, you can actually see people who actually hold the amount of people holding the certification comparing to who's actually, you know, the jobs that are asking and requiring what certifications they want. Not necessarily all jobs require this, but for the most part, you know, it's, it's a marketing scheme. They, they, you know, they market, they want the certification and you go out and get it. And then now you're paying your membership fees. It's not cheap. I, I'm definitely not saying it's cheap, but you know, if you find a job that's willing to kind of pay for you to learn and they're willing to support you by paying and, you know, contributing to your knowledge and keeping you with the organization that's an awesome place to be and uh, that, that's how I feel like right now even though it's you know it's, it's still honeymoon stages of my new position but they're they're very helpful uh, I'm learning a lot on the red team side pen testing uh, I have guys on my team that I manage who are showing me what they know which is amazing right so to just to have that interaction with the team is great uh, do the same. Uh, work with people in, in your organization. If you're working right now, different groups, understand what they're doing. Because the more you know, your knowledge just keeps on growing. But if you're not working, do yourself a favor and get a book, whether it's virtual, ebook, or, you know, physical. I prefer this physical books. I just like, you know, flipping the pages because that's what I'm used to. Uh, learn as much as you can. Do interactive stuff. Hack the box. Uh, there's so many virtual online labs that you could sign up for that you can just engage with and, and learn so much more and put that down. Even the Google stuff, the Google cybersecurity courses. I know an intern that, that took that and, and they ran with it. They finished it, crammed it all in and learned so much more terminology, different things. So that's pretty much it. I, I just wanted to come on here and, and give this two cents to you guys who are still out there looking. Uh, market isn't horrible but the market isn't the best all right but don't get me wrong there are still people looking for talent all right thank you guys for being here and please remember to hit that like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys again really soon bye